Have you ever told a lie and then had to tell another lie in order to validate it? And in order for you to achieve the lie, you have to live up to the lie. You have to act as if it was real. What if what you thought were legitimate reasons were just confabulations, um, just random sparks of imagination rather than memory? Confabulations is a psychological term that indicates symptoms of fabricating and distorting memories. Memories are not records but interpretations. They are all, to some extent, confabulations. Fictions are made up. Fictions are justified lies. Fictions are justified confabulations. People believe in fictions, as much as they believe in reality. Fictions are therefore, a fundamental tool that will guide you to escape to confabulations, and validate this action. Step 1. Look for fiction books that deal with the act of escaping. You can recommend yourself one, but it's always good to go to bookshops and ask the experts. Excuse me, yeah? um, could you possibly recommend me a book that kind of deals with the act of escaping? Escaping? Yeah. Okay, okay, I think I know what I want to recommend okay. you. Okay. <laughs> Let me just find it. So, have you read this? No. Okay, so it's basically about these two people who are married. Yeah. And it's just about like how they aren't really what they appear. Mm -hmm. And the woman has this whole massive backstory which involves her escaping, like, um, how she's grown up. Um, and the easy ones are all the wartime escape thing. I mean, the, yeah. the classic, really good escape thing is Rogue Mail by um, Jeffrey Household, um, which is was written in the third, uh, just before the Second World War. Uh, and it's basically about escaping from... He's tried to kill a, a character, uh, and it, he's trying to escape from them coming back to... fiction that deals with escape. What about Poe? Um, got any Poe stories? Yeah. Ooh, oh, I tell you what is sort of about escape, which is very... Oh, God. It's the many. But it's about grief uh, and so. going away. Step two. Choose three fictions. Choose one sentence from each novel. These sentences will be the main structure for you to play in. Each sentence needs to be chosen carefully as these will act as structures for your script. They will define your character, conflicts and the finale. From the first novel, choose a sentence that will begin your script. This sentence needs to give your character a background story, or a characteristic. From the second novel, choose a sentence that will end your script. You might wonder, why the ending first? Well, according to the rules of storytelling by Pixar, you need to come up with the ending before figuring out the middle, because endings are hard. Last but not least, from the third book, choose a sentence that will go in the middle. This sentence needs to show some kind of conflict that your character will face or need to be able to lead to a conflict. That's what Nakata's father said before he died. Ever since then Nakata never closed his eyes. He thought bad things will happen every time he closes his eyes, but bad things still happened every day. Nakata got used to this, and couldn't care less anymore. He also got used to not closing his eyes. This is a story of how, his eyes, wide shut. It was an ordinary day, Nakata was spending his day in the park as usual. But, he had a hunch, that something was about to happen. But he felt strange. He felt like someone was looking at him. 
It was the birds. They started to follow him. Not in a friendly way. Nakata ran. He ran until the birds no longer chased him. When they did, Nakata was in a queue for a bag check. As Nakata walked in, he saw lots and lots of taxidermied animals, with eyes wide open, just like him. Then he heard a voice, calling his name. It was the desert fox. Nakata went closer. The fox asked him, why doesn't he close his eyes, even though he doesn't care about the bad things happening in the world anymore. Nakata said, I don't care because there's nothing I can do. The fox said. That's because you are lazy, indifferent and ignorant. Nakata ignored the fox and walked away. The fox said. Oh no you don't. You don't deserve to keep your eyes open and see everything. Nakata thought.